All right, it is sports and lifetime, and we're gonna take some time out to talk about sports and how it relates to life. My name is Coach Referee Lord Donovan Hilton, and we're gonna talk about again sports and how it relates to life. So we're talking about co and when we say sports, in this particular case, we're gonna talk about basketball. And uh, you might say, well, how does sports or basketball relate to life? And what makes you qualified to tell us about basketball as well as life? Well, some fun facts. Um, I do have what they call athletic amateur union experience, uh, where I played at least six years of AAU basketball, where you in the state of California, where you traditionally have uh, your top talent or those that believe that they're the, their they're top talent uh, competing against one another in order to be recognized by college scouts. So traditionally, if you're looking to Traditionally, this is before the health pandemic, if you were looking to get in front of or create awareness about your skills, you would compete in AAU, Amateur Athletic Union Sports, uh, at least in the state of California, I know at least nationally as well, uh, because that's where traditionally the higher competition was. And if you sh if you shined and, 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 and stood out in AAU, then they would go to your high school to check you out. Not go to your high school first to check you out and then AAU, they would go to AAU because if you could make it there, traditionally your high school division was, was not a problem. So I had at least six years of uh, amateur athletic union experience. I was also a referee um, on salary since the age of 16. Um, I was also coaching uh, under city parks and recreation since the age of 14 and I was able to coach nine-year-olds. Uh, I also hosted, after I graduated high school, close to 19 years old, I hosted competitive basketball camps and tournaments for a number of years. I want to shout out High Rise Basketball Program and Coach Anthony Clayton for inspiring me and actually grooming me to experience that uh, activity. Also served as a assistant boys varsity basketball coach where I helped lead my alma mater to one of their best seasons in school history. Um, to reach the CIF Divisional Championships, Regional Championships. And I also served as Vice President of Sponsorships for a semi-professional basketball franchise in Los Angeles, uh, the Los Angeles Push. And so for that reason, I feel I have some type of experience at least to give you a better understanding of what college scouts look for if you were looking to play at the next level if you were in high school or middle school. But more importantly, how does basketball and sports relate to life? Um, and that's what we're talking about today. Sports in relation to life and competition in relation to masculinity. Competition in relation to masculinity. And I want to say when it comes to competition, some fun facts. When we speak competition, understand that is a masculine mindset. To be competitive is to give all that you have. And there's, there's, there's two energies, yin and yang, and they also call it masculine and feminine. And you need to know the difference between the two because there are males that have masculine and feminine energy and there's females that have masculine and feminine energy. You just have to know when to apply. When to apply to lead, when to apply to follow in a very broad sense. So masculine energy is definitely a mindset. Uh, that you need to make sure that you are competitive. Competition can go into capitalism because traditionally capitalism, it's survival of the fittest and uh, you want to control a market. Competition also goes into your career because you have a lot of skilled, experienced individuals that may be applying for a position that you're applying for. So what values do you bring for that organization in order to get the job? Or if you're self-employed, what value do you bring to your market and to your customer base in order for you to get that contract? And so therefore, overall, we're talking about in this particular time, in this particular realm, the laws of nature. So when we're talking about sports in relation to life, we're talking about the laws of nature. When we're talking about competition in relation to masculinity, we're talking about the law of nature, which ultimately uh, consists of your mindset. So let's talk about our first lesson.